Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Carlsbad, California today with TaylorMade. We're at the Kingdom inside the putting lab. I've got Dwayne Anderson with me. Dwayne, how's it going? Excellent, excellent. Glad to have you guys here. Exciting time. You know, the Spider franchise has been incredible for you guys Absolutely. for a number of years now. We're going to talk about brand new Spider X. There's a lot of Absolutely. exciting technology going on here. As players have learned that MOI can be a big deal for them when it comes to putting, mm -hmm. you guys have taken some steps from a technology standpoint to take MOI to a whole new level with Spider X. Absolutely. Um, the way I like to begin with people to describe why Spider why does it look the way it does, is it was really an exercise in stability 10 years ago or more when we started <laughs> developing it. And easy way to understand it for me is a traditional putter. All right, this is what golfers have told us a putter should look like for a very long time. And what we realize is I can pick on any of them because they're all the same, but every putter is stable where the hosel meets the head. I've got a ton of stability right here in this anchor point. Then we've learned how to heel and toe weight the putter, perimeter weight the putter, so that the center is nice and stable. What we realize is, well, here it's not very stable, but we don't putt out here, but we do putt right here. And it doesn't take much on that off-center strike to get that face to twist. Sure. And what happens on a strike like that, the face opens up, loft increases, and what happens is the ball launches higher and has more backspin. So not only is it wanting to move to the right of where you want it to be, but it's not rolling as well as it should. So that's just from that little off-center strike. This happens. You can imagine on a 40-foot putt or a 50-foot putt and you hit it off-center, some bad things are happening. So the reason we made Spider look the way it does is we pulled the center gravity back away from the head. These are weights. So we pulled the center gravity back, spread the weights to the outside of the putter. What that gave us is a putter with a longer, wider wheelbase, like a car, a more stable platform. So we pulled the CG back, moved the weights to the outsides, and what that, the benefit of that is in that same kind of exercise, I can come all the way out here to the edge and hit it pretty firmly, and that face does not want to twist. Yeah. So now we can hit this putter all over this face and not have that twisting effect, the, the change in loft, the change in direction, that happens with a traditional putter. So that for me, it's the way I wrap my head around it, why, why we ended up here. We didn't let people tell us that you couldn't make a putter look like this because we knew we had a very stable platform for a putter. Um, so driver. through the years, we've made iterations. First thing, big first spider was very large, so they, oh, it's too big. We needed to make it smaller. And so it's always been a, a uh, process of trying to maintain the stability in a smaller size. And one of the neat things about the Spider X is you can kind of see some of these processes we've gone through just from the original Spider, these cutouts. What we get, this is what we call a wireframe construction where there's a lot of empty material. Well, that's weight that we've been able to save from here and mm -hmm. put it somewhere else. So you can see these big cutouts in the original Spiders. And what we've been able to do with the Spider X one of the biggest advancements is, was right here. We took that composite technology from our drivers and incorporated it into this sole plate. Now, it doesn't sound like that big a deal, but you realize this sole plate weighs about 70 grams in the original form, and our new sole plate in the Spider X is about 15. So yeah. that's a tremendous amount of weight for us that we saved in this same construction to put it in other places to bring back that MOI back up that we lost a little bit by making it smaller. So that's kind of some of the neat stuff that went on behind the scenes designing this head that you can actually visually see these changes we've made. And it's always, always been a process to maintain that same stability that we've always had in a, a smaller package. Maybe in Spider X, the trying to make it more mallet appearance, right? Mm -hmm. In a, a little smaller size. So that's kind of where Spider came from where we've been going with it for a very long time. Um, some other neat advancements. Well, we got rid of the, the exterior weights that stick out that a lot of people didn't, you know, some people didn't care for, and we just tried to make them more pleasing. But keep the weights on the outside, keep the center gravity deep and back. Um, some of the other advancements in the Spider-X, 
this insert. This is one of the first times in a while that we've actually changed the uh, geometry of the insert. So here we, we basically doubled the thickness of the insert. And that did a couple things for us. One thing, it made the, the grooves that we use to promote topspin and launch angle, basically it made those perform even more by making them longer, made longer beams, longer grooves with a thicker insert. So we actually get a little more topspin than we did before. The other thing is it really quiets the sound and the feel. Because at, at the end of the day, uh, feel and sound is all vibration. And you can imagine in a wireframe construction, we've got a lot of vibration that we're trying to manage. So that really helps us out too with a thicker insert to help keep that feel and sound from being too high or too clicky. So that really helped us. Um, one of the other vi very visible differences that I really, I've been looking at Spider for a long time. So when, <laughs> when I set it down for the first time, one of the first things that I really keyed in on was this alignment feature. And we worked with our, we have an eye specialist, Dr. Hitzman at Indiana University who does sports vision. So um, we, we worked with him on the original white concept to basically decide how do we do it? Why is it a good idea? The, the science behind it. And so he helped us develop this sightline implement of okay, the sideline needs to be thicker, but not as wide as the ball. It needs to be half that size. The kind of arrow concept really brings your eyes down the line of the putt. When you set the putter down, you get this white visual of the line of the putt, the line that the ball's gonna follow. And one of the neatest things that I noticed right away was bringing that white all the way over the top line right into a white face. And that really was a, a really pleasing uh, just made sense. It just flows all the way to the face instead of in the past. We've looked at these uh, different, you know, red, white, black insert, these kind of different colors going on. To me, when I put this putter down, that was one of the first things I noticed was just this pleasing look of blending this line all the way down to the face, all the way down the line. So you mentioned the new insert. Mm -hmm. So for players that have been in, say, a Spider Tour, Spider Mini, mm -hmm. will they notice a difference in feel with the new insert? Will it feel softer or firmer? Will Ooh. it be pretty much what they've had? I would say, if I had to guess, it feels very subjective, so it's, it's hard to nail down. But if I would guess, I would say it, would, it might be a little quieter, a little softer feeling and sounding gotcha. than, those other, than those past putters. And you also have had great success with True Roll. Oh yeah. In terms of your technology, in Absolutely. terms of like getting the ball rolling quicker, helping players with speed control. Tell, tell us a little bit about how that works. Sure. So our, our Groove technology, our original AGSI, right? Groove system. And that's really the, the key uh, word in that acronym is an anti-skid anti -skid groove system insert. So our, our grooves are actually doing something. They're actually an active part of this process to they flex and they kick to, to give the ball launch angle and top spin more so than anything else. And spent years with testing on a robot of all different types of structures and materials and dimensions of this insert to, to dial it in to make it perform the way we want it to. Um, and so and it's always uh, been a process of, even though we've tried to change feel, is to again keep that performance benefit that honestly, players tend to notice right away. When they hit a putt on the putting green, they notice the ball rolling better right away, even though they don't have uh, some of the expensive toys that I do to be able to measure these things. Really? You can see it with your eye when all of a sudden your ball's not bouncing and hopping on that first couple of feet. All of a sudden it's rolling smooth. Um, we see that quite often when someone hasn't played our insert and all of a sudden they try a putter with the pure roll insert. All of a sudden they see this smooth roll right away and they'll tell us about it right yeah. away. And of course, Spider Tour, really known red and black color wise. Mm -hmm. Now with Spider X, we've got navy and copper and right. both look really sharp. Absolutely, it's been neat uh, to kind of dive into the process with our developers to bring some different color palettes out there to make a change and then let, let people tell us what they wanna see. And what I've noticed so far is First of all, I mean, the copper is just beautiful, and then the, the blue is beautiful. But what I found is people are really emotional about those two colors. They really will gravitate toward one or the other, which is kind of a neat thing, fun thing to watch. Um, I haven't seen a lot of middle ground. It's, 
nope, I like copper. Oh, no, I like the blue, you know. So it's, it's going to be a neat, uh, just a couple options in that color. And I think people are really going to gravitate toward one or the other. And another area where you guys were well ahead of the curve is when it came to the mallet putters as they st first started growing in popularity, mm -hmm. what was often the case is they were really only available as face balanced models. And sure. so they really didn't suit the player who had the arc in their stroke. Absolutely. You guys have implemented the slant neck hosel yeah. so that the player who's got the flowing stroke can utilize one of these putters and it's been a big hit with your tour players. Absolutely. It's, it's neat to see uh, having the face balanced option is great because really where we're looking at face balance versus toe down or toe hang putters is kind of a directional miss, right? One's easier to close than the other from a physics standpoint, this and that, or how your stroke works and how you open and close the putter. So it's nice to have the two options and what's been neat and why we've kind of stuck with this short slant number three hosel is what we found is with the tour players especially, we found a a combination of hosel and toe down that suits this uh, more blade-like uh, player who's used to the face rotating in a certain way. And most played on tour, I would say, would be the number three hosel because it rotates very similar to this. Mm -hmm. And guess what most of those guys were playing? <laughs> right. And we had, in 2018, we had 19, maybe even 20 weeks where the Spider was the number one model played on tour. Spider. Yeah. Which is pretty neat for us. Absolutely. To, to see our putters gain traction like that. And of course, tour. some immediate validation for you, which I know you're excited about. Roy McElroy, who everybody's always interested in what he's doing from a putter standpoint. He's switched back and forth from blades to mallet. Sure. He's put this in his bag straight away to start 2019. Absolutely. It's really exciting to see. We, we really feel like with this lineup, we've got a pretty good shot at getting most of our staff or, and most of the guys that are playing Spider today. I think we have a really good shot at getting a lot of these right into their bags. Yeah. Dwayne, great stuff. We appreciate it. <laughs>